It's just the beginning of 2023 and AMD is literally on fire. You people know, right? CES 2023 is going on right now and AMD has announced a lot of things during this event. And we'll be talking about all of that in this video. Make sure to watch it till the end because we actually got our hands on of the brand new CPU AMD announced during CES 2023. So talking about the event, as I've told you, AMD announced their brand new 7000 series CPUs, which include the much awaited 3DV cache variant and also a brand new 65 watt power efficient 7000 series CPUs. Along with the CPUs, they've also launched brand new 7000 series mobile CPUs for the laptops. Guys, you can expect brand new AMD Advantage Edition gaming laptops this year. We'll be getting hands on those laptops also very soon. So stay tuned to the channel. And along with that, they've also announced their new Radeon 7000 series mobile GPUs for the laptops. So keeping all of that aside, now today's focus in the video will be on these brand new 7000 series CPUs announced during CES 2023, which include both the 3DV cache variant and also the 65 watt power efficient variant CPUs. First, let's talk about the 3DV cache variant. So a lot of people were like, you know, eagerly waiting for the 3DV cache variant uh, 7000 CPUs to drop by because 3DV cache variant offers like excellent gaming performance. Last year, if you guys remember when AMD announced the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D variant, na, people were like pretty awestruck guys because that was the world's fastest gaming processor at launch during that time. And this time also AMD has announced Ryzen 7 7800X 3D variant of the same CPU. So most of the specs are still similar. This CPU is also based on Zen 4 architecture 5 nanometer. You are getting 8 core 16 thread max boost of up to 5 gigahertz. TDP is around like 120 watts. But the biggest difference over here comes to the total cache. You are getting almost like 100 104 MB cache guys both the L2 and L3 combined and compared to the non 3D variant right that is almost like double the amount of cache you are actually getting over here and this makes like a huge difference especially in like 1080p level of gaming experience you can see almost like 15% more performance compared to the last year's 5800x 3D that is what AMD is saying they even showed like a couple of benchmarks during the announcement and I was like pretty stoked guys can't wait to get my hands on it now keeping that aside see what exactly is 3db cache variant let me tell you that so in this particular technology 3db cache now there are like large pools of cache l2 and l3 you know stacked on top of the other inside the chip and this will give you like huge performance boost especially where applications or games require that amount of level of cache so especially if you're doing like 1080p gaming now this will make like a big difference but again though last year if you guys remember applications and games which actually did not require that huge amount of cache we're actually performing a bit less than the non 3db cache variant cpus this is what we've seen again this year we'll have to see what the scenario is you'll have to stay tuned for that and one more biggest advantage is unlike last year we're also getting two more 3db cache variant not just ryzen 7 you're also getting ryzen 9 edition of 3db cache cpus as well both ryzen 9 7900x 3d and 7950x 3d and let me tell you ryzen 9 7950x 3d is like the the ultimate CPU for both gamers and creators guys it's like the excellent solution and right now the fastest gaming CPU in the market even beats out Intel's 13th gen i9 3900k that is what AMD was showing in the benchmarks specs are again the same guys as I've told you 16 cores 32 threads up to 5.7 gigahertz max boost but coming to the cache here comes the biggest difference you're getting almost like 144 MB of total L2 plus L3 combined cache which is like huge compared to the non 3db catch variant of the ryzen 9 7950x and the tdp is around like 120 watts for this particular variant and talking about the performance guys now as i've told you it even beats out intel's 13th gen i9 3900k and a 1080p level of gaming performance we are getting to see almost like uh, 10 to 15 percent of improved performance over the competitor again though this is something we'll have to check out in real world once i get my hands on this particular cpu which will be happening very soon in the coming weeks only giving you a small hint so that's it about the 3D V catch variant CPUs and keeping that aside I've also told you that AMD announced new power efficient variant of the 7000 series CPU right so these are their new 65 watt edition 7000 series CPUs and compared to the regular edition CPUs right these are almost 47% uh, more power efficient guys and best part is they're like much more affordable they're available at a very value for money price tag and one more thing AMD said is these new 65 watt CPUs will be coming bundled with the 
cooler in the package. They've announced three CPUs, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 and all of these will be coming bundled with a stock cooler. Ryzen 5 will be coming with a regular stealth cooler non-RGB while the 7 and 9 will be coming with their RGB Wraith Prism cooler. And today in the house we actually got my hands on the new 65 watt Ryzen 9 7900 and guys here it is this is the CPU that we'll be actually testing out in this video. So we don't have the official retail packaging as of now as I've told you it's like a, a sample review sample sent by the brand and along with this CPU they've also sent the stock RGB Wraith Prism cooler that you will be getting in the official retail packaging. So what I'll do is today I'll be building like a test bench setup using these CPUs and also a couple of parts and we'll actually be putting the CPU to a test and see what sort of performance you can expect over here. I'll show you everything guys, uh, the uh, all sorts of benchmarks, creator related applications and also gaming related performance and benchmarks as well. They're still based on the same Zen 4 architecture only guys, 5 nanometer and come with AM5 socket only. So last time during the launch, we got to check out their new X670E variant motherboard, right? Now we have a brand new motherboard, their B650 affordable edition motherboard. It actually goes well with their power efficient uh, 65 watt CPUs because that is, you know, more affordable category CPU, right? So equally, we have an affordable category motherboard as well. This particular one is from MSI. It's their MAG series B650A motor Wi-Fi edition motherboard and has like a robust power design, guys. 12 dual trail CPU power system with 80 amp smart power stage it does have ddr5 ram support that to add like pretty good clock speeds and has like pci gen 5 support as well latest networking solution is also available you're getting both bluetooth wi-fi on board so that is not an issue at all even support 6 gigahertz spectrum wi-fi 6 is also there so this is what we'll be using today in our video. So let me quickly tell you about the test bench setup. As I've told you, we're using AMD's brand new Ryzen 9 7900 65-watt edition CPU. Cooler will be the stock cooler only. I want to see, you know, what set of thermals you can expect over here if you go with a stock cooler, which is RGB Wraith Prism Edition. And the motherboard is from MSI B650M. Talking about the RAM, we're using it from Corsair. It's their Corsair Dominator DDR5 32GB RAM. And the GPU we're using is also from AMD. I'm going with the Radeon 6800 XT which is like a perfect partner for Ryzen 9 7900. So that's it guys these were the main specs and highlights and without wasting any more time let's quickly jump into the benchmarks. As you can see, our test bench PC is all set up and we have CPU Z up and running. Max TDP of the new Ryzen 9 7900 is mentioned as 65 watts. And you can have a look at the other CPU stats well on the screen. I've run a couple of benchmarks, including Geekbench 5, and got a single core score of 2126 and a multi core score of 17139. Not bad, right? Pretty decent, I'd say, for a low power variant CPU. And just for a comparison's sake, your regular variant of 7900X had a TDP of around 170 watt and scored around a similar single core score of 2186 but a slightly higher multi-core score of around 19,500. Despite having only around 65 watt TDP, the new Ryzen 9 7900 still outperforms their last gen Ryzen 9 5950X by a big margin. Just look at those scores over there. And not just Geekbench, I ran Cinebench R23 as well, got a single core score of 1961 and a multi-core score of around 24,023. Cinebench scores were not that impressive, again this was expected because of the limited 65W TDP restrictions. There's a good amount of difference between the regular 7900X and the 65W edition 7900 CPU. Again see, the choice is all up to you, if you want more power, spend more, get the regular 7000 series chips that are less efficient, if you want to save money, you're looking looking for a power efficient chip, then these new 65 watt CPUs are the one for you. Alright now let's jump into the gaming benchmarks. Now despite the TDP restrictions, the new 65 watt CPUs are no slouch. You can do some excellent gaming over here even at high resolutions like 4K or 1440p that were at a pretty reasonable thermal levels. No joke boys, we are running this Ryzen 9 using AMD stock Wraith Prism cooler and things were looking pretty decent during my tests. Unfortunately since these CPUs are like very new in the market. MSI's afterburner didn't have support for them as of now, so software couldn't show the CPU temperatures in the stats. But not to worry, why other methods have actually gauged the temperatures and found it was around like 65 70 degrees while gaming at 1440p even after 30 minutes. So that was the kind of thermals you can expect over here, and the Wraith Prism was perfectly alright if you're tight on a budget. But by actually using a decent liquid cooler, maybe like a 240 or 360 mmeio, you can significantly lower down those temperatures. 
temperatures also. I've played Spider-Man Miles Morales at 1440p max ultra settings and was getting around 130 FPS on an average. Quite impressive results. See, even though these 65W CPUs do not match up to the regular 7000 series, they're still quite powerful compared to the last gen 5900X CPU, which had a TDP of around 105W. Roughly, I'm seeing around like 15-18% to 18 improvement in the gaming section over the 5900X at the same time being quite power efficient is what I can say. Say, suppose you built a PC using the regular Ryzen 9 7900X, then the total system power consumption over there could be around 280-290 watts. Now suppose you build the same PC using this new 65 watt edition Ryzen 9 7900, then the total system power consumption comes down to almost 175 to 180 watts. That is almost like 46 to 47 percent more power efficiency over here. And not just that, these new 64 watt CPUs also have OC support, right? And you can easily overclock them using Ryzen Master Utility. It's got one-click easy OC function using PBO. PBO stands for Precision Boost Overdrive, and that can like greatly improve the overall results by almost like 30-35% also, considering you're using a good quality liquid cooler. You know, more than this Ryzen 9, I'm actually excited to check out the budget-friendly 65 watt Ryzen 5 7600 CPU. AMD said that that particular Ryzen Ryzen 5 even outperforms Intel's 13th Gen i5, the 13600K, making it the most value for money CPU for budget gamers out there. And coming to the pricing details, yes, AMD revealed that also. So they price these new 65W CPUs almost like $100 less than the regular lineup. Indian pricing is yet to be announced, but if I had to take a guess, I'm expecting a 8 to 10,000 rupees price difference between the regular and the 65W variant CPUs here in the Indian market. Let's see, I'm also not sure, right? I'll keep you guys posted in the comment section and description box also as soon as I get the new updated details. So that is pretty much it guys. This is what I wanted to show you all in this new video. What do you think about this brand new 65W CPUs? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you go for these or are you interested in the 3D VCatch variants? I'll be getting my hands on those CPUs also very soon guys. So expect an amazing gaming PC coming up very soon on the channel. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and I'll see you all in my next one.